All right, well, hello again, everyone. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you missed out on a bunch of technical difficulties we had on the stream. But basically, uh, I've got them fixed. We should be able now to see the game, hear the game. Sorry about that. Let's get started with Persona 4. <laughs> what a revolt in development. Now, we should hear everything. I fix it. A resolution. We should be able to see and hear everything. Will we be able to? It's coming. It's loading. Aha! We can see something. We have progress. I can hear something. We have more progress. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Oh, push the PS button. Okay, I'm a controller's... Connected to the game. <coughs> That's right. Check that PS2 memory card. <clears throat> Atlas. Very well-known studio for publishing, uh, you know, certain lines of JRPG. Oh my god, it's loud as shit. <laughs> oh. La la la. So much information, yeah. Suck it to me, baby. Give it to me now. Come on, let go. Every moment, don't you know? You're ready on a junk. Oh, oh. Try to fit the boat that we're cooking on a go, but I know you hang up in the middle. Come on, come on. What the hell is that? What was that? Don't pay no mind. What is that? <laughs> oh yeah. It's the love seat of doom. Presented by Atlas. Come on. Alright, so I lowered the volume significantly there for the intro, but I don't know how loud it's going to be when the game starts. Persona 4. Press the any button. Well, first of all, is there a way, I'm just curious, to, to do... Oh, here we go. If we do full screen, what happens? Ooh, no, that's not good. we got to do normal. Off. What the hell did that just do? Off? Did it just turn the screen off? That was stupid. <laughs> that was really stupid. Okay, I'm going back to normal. It turned the screen off. <laughs> what the hell kind of a mode is that? Who would want the screen to be off? Alright, we don't want smoothing on. That's going to make it look, you know... I think we'll just leave it as the original. What the hell? I guess we're good then, right? I guess we'll leave it as, as is? Okay. Whoa, what's this now? This is the second intro, look. Zio, Zio. Alright, we don't want to spoil the game. <laughs> Screen off. Why would that be an option? Screen off. <laughs> I want to play the game blind. What the shit? Alright, config. <laughs> Vibration on, voice on. I don't know, auto advance. Auto scroll text during voice events. Nah. Cursor memory on. Tactics on. Camera reverse. Okay. I guess all that sounds good. Screen off! <laughs> Screen off! What? Okay. Before you begin the story, choose a difficulty level in battle. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I've said this, I'm going to go on beginner. It's very simple, because I've never played a Persona game before, because I'm not going to be grinding in this playthrough. This is how we're going to uh, tackle it. Some people are saying now to make the volume louder again. Ugh. So the intro cutscene was too freaking loud, now the game's too low. Of course. All right, I upped the volume a little bit there. Okay, beginner. 
The setting is intended for less. I am less experienced, let's face it. You can continue up to 10 times after your character has become unconscious. Ah. That doesn't affect the outcome of the story. Good. I'd like to see the true story. Yes. Sit back and enjoy the game. There you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly what they say. I'm gonna sit back. I'm sitting back. Characters art, storylines. Oh, wait a minute. I, there's no way I could possibly read that. How could I read that? That was way too fast. Damn. Alright, here we go. Car pulls up, throws a body out of the trunk. Who's this? What the fuck? Is that the guy's nose? What the fuck is- Oh my god, he's got an insanely huge nose! He's got pointy ears like an elf. What the hell is this? Welcome to Ooh. the Velvet Room. Ooh. Nice bloodshot eyes. The Velvet Room. What the fuck am I looking at? Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Good lord, look at the size of his fucking nose. My name is Igor. <laughs> I am delighted to make your acquaintance. We did a poll publicly. We found Igor was the creepiest fucking name possible, so they this chose place it. This exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Okay. Welcome to the Black Lodge. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Hmm. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Great. Well, I hope so, or else it's not going to be much of a game. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? <clears throat> oh! And to your last name? Now, wait a minute. Why do you get to know my last name? Who is this? You want my social security number, too? <laughs> my blood type? They want my last name. Alright, I'm gonna give him my real last name. The first game I've ever played that's actually asked for my last name. That's pretty weird. <laughs> Schnozenheimer. Dickenstein. My name's Dickenstein. Uh, how do I finish? Uh... Huh? How do I get to the end? Huh? How do I- it says end start. I'm pressing start. It's not doing anything. What do I do? Also, I can't delete. Huh? What do I... I'm already confused with the fucking stupid thing! Look! Both delete and end are grayed out. I can't fucking do... I can't enter my name! Why can't I enter my name? Look! I go all the way to the right. I can't enter my name. What the fuck? Look! I can't get out! I can't leave! Triangle does nothing. Square does nothing. R1, L L1 goes left, R1 goes right. R2 and R R L2 do nothing. I can't even enter my fucking name! <laughs> this is not a good start! There's no way to progress! Look! Oh, enter your first name? It changed! Oh, they want me to enter my first name now. What?! Why the hell? This is the weirdest name entry system I've ever seen in my life! What?! Sure, yeah, proceed. This is weird. Why is this so weird? <laughs> hmm, I see. Now. Let's take a look into your future, shall we? What the flip? Do you believe in fortune telling? Yes. 
Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. Oh, Don, you're going to <laughs> die. The itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? By the way, I hope the volume is good for everyone now. It's actually a little low for me. I'm going to up my uh, headphones. Who's singing? Very beautiful singing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Oh, great. The card indicating the future beyond that is... Ah, the dildo! You're going to get it up the ass the tonight! Position. From me in my nose! <laughs> My giant schnoz is this going up your anus. Represents hesitation and mystery. Wow. Very interesting indeed. Mystery. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Ooh. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort. After which, you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Oh, no. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Assistant for the check is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. <clears throat> My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Well, thank you, Margaret. How old are you? Are you single? We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. That is a freakish looking dude, man. Freakish. Whoa, 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 what is this? Hey now! Now, this is a good start. Bikini bimbos! Get the water splashing on the titties, bang, bang. Tired of diets, enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. Nice. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. Calorie magic, huh? Hey. We're back. Now on to some and no subtitles available on our show. <laughs> First he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to be? Oh my god, social commentary this early. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Oh! Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Come on, you all had a taste of him. You all slept with him. He's going to another school now. <laughs> Gotta pass him around. He's so freakishly large, we decided the whole countryside has to share him. <laughs> Terminal in a few minutes. Nice of them to put subtitles on the Japanese. I can't read that shit. And Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well known TV announcer. Oh, should we go soon? Yeah, it's just about. Oh, look at the panda in the background. Whoa, love triangle. I want to hear about that. Go back to that. Get off this boring train scene. Go back to the love triangle. What is all this going on? What's this static? Ugh, someone's getting killed. What the? Alright, he remembers the long nose dude, huh? I thought it was just a dream. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. 
<laughs> you are so in a bar. <clears throat> it's uh, 4 11, April 11th, afternoon. Hey, over here. Oh? <laughs> well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. What the hell? He's hitting on him. <laughs> Ooh, what guy says to another guy, you're more handsome than in your photo? What the hell is that? <laughs> he was so overcome with his good looks, he just had to compliment Welcome him. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. I'm a middle-aged man on the prowl. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Your mother's younger brother. So it's his uncle. You couldn't just say that. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm so overcome huh. cre with creepiness. You got a little motion sickness from the train, did you? What the hell? This here's my daughter. You're already pushing your daughter on me? Goddamn, first you kid on me, now you want me to marry your daughter already? Well, introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> oh good, she's silent, just like me. Low. 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 <laughs> what are you so shy for? <clears throat> Ow! She slapped his ass. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Good, I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> oh, they didn't tell you. They transferred me out of that school because I'm a, a young, dangerous youth. <laughs> Just got out of juvie. Now hotwire your car. You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. La 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 la. Mole six? Huh. Wonder if that's a real uh, gas gas company in Japan. Inaba Central Shopping District gas station. Hi, welcome to Mole. Ah, full service. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? What? No. Uh-huh. She's actually kind of young to be going to the bathroom by herself, isn't she? You're trusting a gas station to be safe? I don't know about this. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? <clears throat> the side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I'm not even gonna respond to that. That's how stupid that statement was. I know. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, <clears throat> sir. That's right. Clean the windshield. Was any for a smoke. Buff the hubcaps. Give me an oil change. Are you in high school? Yeah, if you're gonna smoke, get the hell away from the gas pumps, you asshole. <laughs> Blow us all to hell. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? This voice, by the way, this voice actor, this attendant is very familiar. I've heard this person in many animes before. There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Wow, thanks for telling me what to do. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Fuck you. No. Say no. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Well, I peed everywhere. I couldn't find oh, the bathroom. <laughs> I should get back to work. <laughs> I peed all over the side of your building, you cocky son of a bitch. That's what you get for being a dick to me. Nanako is looking at you. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be Joshin from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. Huh. 